Hey, what's up, go-getters? Welcome to the How We Get Fit podcast. This is a show where we talk to people to help you finally get fit. Yeah. I'm Kalani. And I'm Shanna. And in today's episode, we have... Fran Petoskey. Go get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. See, She works for a nonprofit called Revelation Wellness as the executive director of administration. She teaches her own classes, some from home, some from clubs, specializing in senior fitness. She was a very successful beach body coach and is an ACE certified trainer with a special certification in senior training. Welcome, Fran. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, guys. It's so good to see you. Yeah, I know. Same here. It's been a while. We're it glad is. that we're reconnecting so yeah. so when did you um so i didn't know um that you went ahead and got certified and everything when did that happen well you know i don't want to say it was a midlife crisis <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my in my former life let's say you know i spent mm -hmm. almost 40 years in the hotel industry oh my gosh and, yeah and so i i was a database manager and um I was never really into fitness per se. Like oh. I wasn't working at workout person. Some people grow up playing sports and whatnot. And I was not that person. I was the person mm -hmm. that danced tula, that played piano, that sang, you know, and, and went to school, got good grades in school. So I was never athletic. Um, mm -hmm. It was a real late comer to, to fitness per se, you know. Um, I was in my late 30s, actually, oh, oh. when I started work, really working out. Mm -hmm. and, Yay, that's yeah. me. You're giving me hope right now, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and it wasn't for a weight problem or anything. It really right. wasn't. It was just, um, you know, I was having marital issues at the time, and it was an escape. It was an escape oh. for me to go to the gym. It was an escape for me to go for long walks. It was, it was an escape. So my, my first um, relationship with fitness wasn't a healthy one. Oh, it, wow. it was completely obsessive. Completely obsessive. I would sometimes oh. uh, work out three or four times a day. Wow. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it was. That's, that's crazy. It was unhealthy. Yeah. It was totally unhealthy. I would wake up in the morning and do a workout. Then at lunchtime, I would go to the gym. And after work, I would go to the class. And, um, wow. you know, and so, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, actually. Wow. So it was really unhealthy that way. Um, and then I would say in my late 40s, maybe 10 years later, um, I got introduced to, you know, workout videos at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And from, yeah, and so then I started working out from home and didn't go to the gym as much and when I got much a much healthier mindset mm -hmm. by, this time, by this time I had remarried and you know, I, I was happy in my marriage and I didn't mm. need to escape wow. and all that. So fitness took a, a more healthy place in my life. That's so but, fascinating. Because you don't yeah. people don't always think of it right that way. That there it can be an unhealthy side to fitness. That's so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. That was just very fascinating. That's okay. That's right. And so you asked me when I, when I got certified. I didn't get certified until I was 50-something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a late bloomer. I am a real late bloomer. Um, I, let me see, when my, my first certification might have been when I was like 53 or 54. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe even 55. I can't even remember now at this point, but wow. you know, I'm almost 62 now. Wow. Um, okay, well, you look amazing. <laughs> just like, you guys need to go to YouTube and watch this video because you're not going to believe. Goals. You're just not going to believe what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> wow. Okay, good. So I, was, I was in my 50s and um, I left my job at the hotel when I was 53. So oh, wow. that's when I started like getting certified and oh. I thought, oh, I'm going to go work with people. I need to get some real certification. Right. 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 So right. that's when I started getting certified in 
I got certified in like P90X and Turbo Kick and Pio oh, and yeah. all of them, Insanity, oh. all of them. I got certified in all of them. Oh, wow. And then, yeah. So, and then I got, you know, the national certifications like ACE. Right. And okay. you know, I did the personal training. I did the group fitness. I did the senior training. Right. Um, all of all of that. So I've got a lot of certifications. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, behind my name, but it's mostly because I feel like I, 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 uh, I'm such a late bloomer, and I have the time now. Right, uh, <laughs> that's, that's true. Right? So true. Yeah. Time and the resources yeah. now, you can just make it happen. Um, that is yeah. a good point. No, that's really yeah. good. So, so what made you um, decide to get into that side of it, the training side of it? Yeah, the live training. Yeah. Well, I remember when I used to take your boot camp classes, Kalani. Mm -hmm. You know, and I. I mean, I always really like the interaction with live people. It really does make you work harder, yeah. right? And it was just fun. It was always fun. But I was always on the student side. Mm. I was always on the student side because right. I just wanted somebody to tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? and, then, yeah. and then I would just do it, right? Right. Well, in uh, 2016, in 2016, um, yeah, that's kind of when I started getting certified right okay. because i was i was at this period of my life like i said i don't know if it was midlife crisis thing or what <laughs> all right but I was, I was at this period of my life where i had already left my hotel job which i had been there 30 something years right? right i left my hotel job in 2013 i was running my my beach body business very successfully but i was i was aging Mm. I, I was aging and mm -hmm. the um i was i wasn't able to keep up with the videos as much as i used to and it was actually right. frustrating me a bit you know right and and i thought you know what i mean it's not normal for me at least it's not normal for a body to be able to do this kind of stuff <laughs> all the forever right right, right? right. Mm -hmm. you know? so yeah. true and i didn't I didn't want to go to, you know, silver sneaker classes or right. anything like that. Like I was too I was too fit for that, but I but I I know I needed a step down. I know I needed a step down. And I thought I couldn't find a class like that. Oh. You know. And I was I, yeah, and I still wasn't a gym person per se. I, I had totally gotten out of the habit of going to gyms for, you know, years at that point. I did no interest in going to a gym, I was used to working out at my own time, right? When you work with videos, you just pop them in whenever you want. So um, I wanted to work out when I wanted to work out. And I wanted the class that I wanted. I mm -hmm. wanted to be, you know, be with people who were active seniors. You That's know, they good. don't mind yeah. being challenged. Right. They don't mind being pushed. But they don't want to be doing, you know, 85 yeah. burpees. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Want? <laughs> I don't want to do 85 burpees. Yeah. And so that's what started me on like researching senior, senior fitness. I didn't consider myself a senior, even though I was like 55, 56, but I'm, you know, right. that's old, old people, right? Seniors. <laughs> but, but I knew I was no longer in the, you know, the mm -hmm, active mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I'm just being real. I went through a, a period of time where I was really mourning, mm. mourning the transition, you know, mourning right. the transition of my younger self to my older self. Right. Absolutely. Right, so right, right. It, it was part of that search as well into how can I still feel challenged, um, you know, and so then I, I just came to the conclusion I have to start my own thing. Right. I yeah. love that. I just have to start my own thing. Yeah, scratch and your so own then I started, Yeah, so then I started doing the certifications. And, you know, I mean, certifications like P90X, they're still pretty high intense, right? Right. But I was able to bring it down. So, uh, yeah. Right? I can I can always modify. but So I can follow the pattern, but I can bring it down. That's smart. Right, right. That's good. Yeah. And so I thought, you know, if this is challenging for me, I bet you others would like it too. So mm -hmm. then I started just inviting friends from church. Nice. You know, to come, come work out with me, let me practice on them. And it just yeah. kind of grew, grew from wow. there. And so, nice. You know, my, my youngest student is like 53 now, I think. Wow. Um, I, okay. I, 
I had students in close to 80, you know, and they yeah, do what they wow. can. They what yeah, they can. absolutely. Yeah. So, so I found that I love group fitness. I love it. I love group fitness. Um, yeah. And they don't mind if I say, oops, made a mistake there. Let's do yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. right. And, and, and I enjoy giving them um, success, you know, successful moves. So they can feel good about their workout yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, so that's right. how that happened. Well, the student has become the teacher. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. <laughs> I love that you were able to, like, you know, know yourself well enough to know you needed to make an adjustment and then be brave enough to go and make that adjustment and be very successful in it. And I, I like that you mentioned, though, it wasn't like an easy transition at first first oh, no. and you had to like you said yeah. more and i because that's a very true fact you're like mm -hmm. wait i can't like kalani is kind of there's like i can't do what i used to be able to do yes. and it's not an easy thing to be wrap there's your little, mind around there's a little ego involved a little bit of like oh, i used to be able to <laughs> you know <laughs> do this and do that and but i love that you didn't let it stop you. You yeah. found a way to still make it work. Yes. And then to, hey, you want this too. Come on, let's just do this together. Yep, yep. So go getters out there. Yeah. Uh just they take this as a as a as a tip to don't stop, you know, no yeah. matter what the obstacle is. Just you know, find make, a way. Find a way. Exactly. Fran found a way. <laughs> so um going back to um <laughs> going back to your 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 kind of your fitness journey when it when it started, um, what was the, the first like change you made like when you you know after your 30s and you started to do the healthy working out like what was that first change you made i started walking mm. so that was my first change i started walking you know i was never an outdoor person i don't like being in the sun i don't like the sweat <laughs> it's funny. funny right because my email is i like your email sweat. yeah <laughs> um, but i didn't i didn't like to sweat um you know, I was, um, I, I, like I said, I didn't grow up as an athlete right, at right. all. I, you know, uh, it didn't grow up like that. So that was a mind shift. Um, and, and I, you know, I didn't like to get sun because I don't want to age my skin and all of that. Right. So, so being out there and, you know, it's so funny how life changes because I ended <laughs> yeah. up doing five marathons. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> you know? Yeah, outside, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, doing, doing that. But yeah, I started walking and then um, I don't even remember how I like uh, how I ever first picked up a weight or anything. I don't really I must have gone to a class. Yeah, mm. I must have gone to a class. I know that I used to attend classes at um, the community center, you know, like uh, Kilauea Community Center. Oh, and, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because I did go to the gym at first you know i was 24 fitness and mm, and yeah. whatnot but but i always have trouble with the schedule i i always have trouble you know oh, right right yeah with the schedule so so I, I just learned the basics from them at the gym and then um you know went to the community centers and then i started video i started video training and really that i think that's what taught me the most you know is oh, learning yeah. videos Right. Yeah. Right. Was that was that Beachbody videos? Mm -hmm. the, yeah. P ninety X was my first. P ninety X. I think that was weightlifting. Yeah. 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 That was, that was yeah. my first uh, uh, right. Beachbody workout too. I loved it. It's a great program. Yeah. Yeah. It's so well rounded, right? I mean, I learned yeah. so much. I learned the the pi the plyo and you know uh, all the different body parts right. and, and I mean, Tony is such a great trainer, still a great trainer. I know. I, know. Tony I love Tony like Horton. Tony, favorite. if you ever listen to this, we Come love on the you. Show. <laughs> Come on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what would you say was your greatest struggle on, on your um, fitness journey? What was your greatest struggle? Well, like I mentioned, just coming to the realization that, Hey, I am no longer Oh, yeah. so later on was kind of when this, because I guess, yeah, because you kind of jumped in, in like you said, later, but yeah. it was when you started to have to transition. Yeah. Mm. The midlife crisis came after I quit my job, right? After I quit my job at the hotel and I was full-time fitness then. 
Okay. Okay. So it's full time fitness. I don't know if I met. I think I met you around then, Kalani. So it's full time mm-hmm. fitness, and but I was aging. You know, yeah. I was I was right. aging, and so I remember when I was fifty five. That whole year, that whole year was a real emotional struggle for me. Wow. Mm. It really was because I knew by on my next birthday I would no longer be in my early fifties. I'd be in my late. 50s. Oh, right. right? right. Yes. Right, right, right. So. I mean, it's totally psychological, but it it really was an emotional kind of yeah. saying goodbye, saying yeah. goodbye. You know, right. so it's kind of like you, you know, Shanna, when you've had kids, it's like okay, yes. goodbye. <laughs> yeah, to certain things. Right? Yes, like uh, everything, right. gravity starts to take hold of your skin. <laughs> 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 like, hey, my right. belly button used to be higher. <laughs> <laughs> right. Another thing, yes. Right? Yeah, another <laughs> yes, other things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It well, is. Yeah, I think that whole that whole year, that whole year was really difficult for me. And then, but the end of the year though is when I found Revelation Wellness. Ah. Oh, okay. So let me tell you about Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to hear what you're doing now. So, yeah. So I'm a woman of faith, right? And and it was during this time, that whole year, that um, I know God was was talking to me, but I was too busy self pitying myself to really hear, really hear. Right. But He was talking to me and saying that I have something else for you. You're not done yet. Right. You know, but my my ego, like you said, my ego was kind of in the way. But by the end of the year, I was done fighting mm-hmm. myself. I was done trying to figure it out by myself. Right. And so Revelation Wellness is a nonprofit. They're based in Phoenix, but they're all over the world. We have, we have instructors all over the world. Oh. And our, our goal is to use fitness as a means to share the gospel. Wow. Nice. So this is combining my two loves, fitness and faith. It was combining the two things together that nice. I knew I wanted to do, but I had no idea how to do it. I had no idea how to do it because when I was running my business, my mindset was all about how is this going to make me money? How is this going to make me money? And when I think of faith, I think of, oh, poverty. (laughs) 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 I mean, what they think of is like, oh, missionary, poverty. (laughs) It was really hard for me to wrap my head around how to put that together. Mm -hmm. But God's Mm -hmm. not going to be put in a box. He's not going to be put in a box, right? Right. So Revelation Wellness um, is a, we do certifications. We certify fitness and charge another certification. But this is what I really wanted to do because it was um, teaching us how to use fitness to share the gospel, how to combine the two. And there's actual science there's so much science about how fitness helps you renew your mind, right? And the Bible says mm. to renew your mind, right. how to help you renew your mind. And what better, now that you're, if you're, you're moving, you're opening up the mind, right? You're creating new brain cells and all that. And they're hungry. Feed me, feed me, right. feed me. And what are you going to feed it with? Right. And studies have always shown that the best time to study is, is when you're exercising, right? Or right mm. after you exercise, you've got all those new brain connections. So oh, yeah. what do you feed it with? I feed it with the word. Wow. wow. You know, yeah. and that helps to renew your mind. Wow. And we have found over and over and over that people are having real emotional breakthroughs when they combine faith and fitness. Yeah. Wow. I mean, when is the last time you saw somebody cry right. at a workout? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You not, know? not, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After the 87th right? burpee. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. It's so, it's, it's so wow. amazing to see that and know that it's so beyond the body. You know, it's right. beyond what you look like. It's yeah. beyond what size you are. It's beyond how much you weigh. It's like, we, we just want to open a portal for God to talk to you. Okay. You know, and for yeah. you to know that your size doesn't determine your value. Right. Right. You know, absolutely. So, so that one, so that's when I found Revelation Wellness, and I did their certification in May of 2016, 
Okay. 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 And um, then I, uh, that, that totally transformed everything. Yeah. That transformed everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's mind, body, and spirit, right? <laughs> right? It mm-hmm. changes everything. Yeah. That's good. And so that was at the end of um, your uh, midlife crisis or <laughs> the, the age, the 55. Yeah. And that kind of shifted and changed Definitely. everything. Right? Awesome. Totally changed everything. And so, yeah, so I've been, I've been a revelation wellness instructor since then. And we can teach whatever we want. You know, it's more oh. of a, a, a culture. It's more of a culture oh. than oh. a style. Right. You know right. what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Whatever we want. So I wanted to teach P90X. I could teach P90X. Wow. And, yeah. uh, but yeah, it's within that culture. So, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I do... I do self myofascial release classes using a roller or balls okay. and stuff. Yeah. And I still have the revelation wellness culture in there. I pray over oh, them, okay. Okay. you know, I give them, I give them an intention, uh, a devotion before the class. And then after the class, when they're relaxing, I pray over them. Um, so it's still the same culture no matter what format I'm teaching. Right, 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 right. Wow. Yeah. And this, and this really... is primarily with seniors. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I relate with them. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I put, I put the call out for, you know, and in the beginning when I first started teaching uh, at my church, I would have all kinds of people come. I would. But yeah. you know how it kind of ends up that yeah. there is right. a yeah. certain following, right? Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I like your style or whatever. Yep. So it just that's so ends cool up to be that way. Yes, you know, because that's really when you want to be staying in shape and being able to still move and have your muscles still work and your body still work. You don't want to just yeah give up yeah. and have your body <laughs> stop working. Yeah, the messaging is completely different. Mm. You know, completely different. Right when you're younger. It's like build those muscles. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Um, right. right. You know, whatever. Right? right. And then when you're older, it's like, hey, let's stand. Let's stay upright. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know. Makes me want to s- not slouch let's and get off the right. medication. Let's stay off the get medication. off the medication. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be strong to carry your to carry your grandkids. I don't know if you guys saw that that ad that um i actually posted on my facebook about this old man who used to be an athlete right and he was trying to lift up this kettlebell mm-hmm. i guess it was a heavy kettlebell it looked like mm-hmm. it was heavy and at first he could only drag it out he's like dragging mm-hmm. it out and and then it just showed how he every day he would get up and try to lift that kettlebell and all his neighbors would be like oh that crazy old man what's he <laughs> doing what's he doing and then at Christmas time, you show it showed that he went over to see his his um, family right for Christmas dinner, and he sees his granddaughter coming downstairs oh. with this little, little girl, mm. and he gives her the star to put on the top of the oh, seat. Oh my gosh, friend! <laughs> That's what it's all about. I know, right? Yeah. That's what it's about for us. It's yeah, like, I want to be right. able to, you know. To do to do what I need to do um, by myself for as long yeah. as possible. I don't want to rely on yeah. my kids, right. you know, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so, so that's a great takeaway. What I take go getters out there, mm-hmm. um, just think about like there's a lot of different like cultures out there that you can get into. Yeah, so there there could be something for you like something that she found like the revelation fitness you know mm-hmm. where you go to a place where they they pray for you when you work out mm-hmm. so hey there's something out there for for everybody to get into mm-hmm. absolutely um, and then you have someone like fran who's gonna just like motivate fran. you and yeah inspire you keep you going that's awesome no, that's great um i did want to go back uh, a little bit um uh, <laughs> uh you said that you you didn't like schedules right um so how did you i mean most people think I got to schedule in my workouts, right? Um, how did you overcome yeah. the that? Like, did you have to schedule or did you have a different strategy? Well, what I meant by that, I guess, is that, you know, when I was working um, and whatnot, it, I don't, I didn't like, um, for me, it just, for me, mm-hmm. yeah. I didn't like to have to like cut my day short to go to class or, right. you know, what if it was inconvenient or what if right. I, um, 
I couldn't make it that day or whatever. Yeah. I remember running into classes late all oh, the time and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Right, right. So that's what I, that's what I meant. I, I want to yeah. set my own schedule, you know. Okay. So okay. I teach classes that work for, for my schedule. Right, you know? yeah. It's no, so I, freeing to I, I do like that. have and that schedule that you mm-hmm. set. Yeah, um, and, um, you know, that's, I think that's the takeaway, too, is uh, – even have it working out to the videos, you can kind of sketch, set your own schedule. So if you don't have a schedule that, you know, is, right. you know, like concrete, then you, you, you have the flexibility to, or go to a place that has multiple classes. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And okay. So uh, I did want to cover a little bit about um, nutrition. Like, do you have a certain view on nutrition or how does, how does your uh, nutrition look? Well, I can tell you that just like my early days of fitness, my nutrition used to be obsessive. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, really obsessive. I would count every calorie, every single calorie. I would wow. log it down. And um, if I, like, you know, those little mini candy bars, right, that you get at Halloween. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if I ate one of those, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't go to bed until I burned it off. Like I would go on the treadmill wow. or whatever. Wow. Yeah, what your job shop, right? That's how obsessive I was. It was like, no, I was not going to go over a certain amount of calories, which really was too wow. little for all the activity I was doing. Right. You know? Wow. And yeah. so this I want to caution your listeners, okay? Because um, sometimes when you follow diet books or diet plans, right. right. It might not be the right one for you mm-hmm. because they just can't. It just can't, you know, one size fits all. It can't. Yeah. Like someone like me that was working out obsessively three times a day, I really needed more calories right. than, than what, you know, this book said. And it was based on like a 30-minute walk perhaps. Oh, maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that kind of activity, right? Right. And, you know, I'm not a big person. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big person, so – on paper, I only need so little calories. Right. You know, right. and that can be really dangerous and mm. really, yeah. yeah. You know, so I don't, I don't, I cannot get into the tracking. It's because I, the obsession will still happen mm. if I do oh, that. Got it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so my, my guideline right now is um, like, how am I plating my food? Right. Am I mm. half vegetables? Okay. You know? Yeah. So I'll do half half vegetables or three quarters vegetables and then maybe a quarter of protein and mm. depending on I don't need a whole lot of carbs, it's just I just don't, you know. Yeah. But right. if I do, then maybe I'll have half vegetables and a quarter carbs and a quarter of protein. Of protein. You know? And it's more like that. It's more right. like I don't have gigantic plate. Yeah. You know, I don't have a mini I used to do that too. I used do all the tricks and uh, eat off of a salad plate uh, like that. I mean, because of so obsessive about keeping right. my calories low. Right. But but now I eat out of a regular size plate, and I just you know make sure that I get all my vegetables first, and I drink a lot of water, mm. you know, and I try not to eat a lot of processed foods. Right? We never, we hardly ever eat out, um, and so I cook. You know, I cook. And um, we hardly eat packaged foods, so okay. you know. That's good. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Cooking. Go-getters. <laughs> don't obsess. Yeah. Don't go crazy. You know, just kind of use it like a method like that, where you just use a plate. See how much, like something, half of it is vegetable. Something. Find something, something that yeah. works for you. Absolutely. Yeah, and if I want a treat, you know, um, I'll have it. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. I will have it, just not every day. Yeah, you know? you're right, right. And, and you won't stay you know, up till midnight so you can work it off. <laughs> nope. I hardly weigh myself. I hardly weigh uh, myself. I just, you know, go by how my clothes fit. And, yeah. And, uh, right. you know, if I'm uncomfortable because I ate too much or whatever, or maybe we went on vacation, you know, and come back and just get right back on yeah. Right back on, on track, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What would you say you are, do you have any current goals or is your goal just to be healthy or strong? What would you say your current fitness goal is right now? My goal in the last few years have been to age well. Mm. 
That's a good goal. Because you can't stop it. Yeah. You know, you can't stop it. Yeah. But I want to age well because I still want to be of service. Right. You know, mm. I don't right. want I don't want to be a burden mm. on anybody, on my children or my husband or you know, I, I still want to be able to, to serve people and give back and you can't do that if that's you're so true. Not healthy. Yeah. So that's you know, that's my, my main goal. And who knows, maybe God will call me to I, I don't think I'm called to them, you know, to be a missionary or anything, but what if, what if, <laughs> yeah. you, know? right. you want to be ready. Be ready. What if? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I like to age well. Yeah. And, uh, I uh, just turned 40 and I have a four year old, a year and a half year old. So I too also need to, we need to age, age well. Well, <laughs> well I, okay. I have a question. Yeah. What would, you tell young Fran, like if you could go back in time and tell her something, you know, maybe at the beginning of the journey or maybe when she was, you know, in her 40s, what would you want to tell her? Um, I would tell her, let me think about this, that, you know, God really does love you as you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's beyond, you know, just like in the Bible when he says he doesn't, you see the outside and you see the the strength and the height of, you know, of Saul, but I, I see something else. I see the heart. And, and the, our body was never meant to be young forever. Mm-hmm. But, right. but, but what we do with our life is what really matters. Yeah. You know, and so set the stage, set the stage for, for how you're going to serve, how you're going to serve people, how you're going to serve the Lord and train for that, mm. train for that. Don't train so that you'll have eternal use because it's not going to happen. <laughs> right. right. It's not, and you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. You're going to wow. be disappointed. Right. You know, mm. so train for, um, for a different kind of eternity. Um, mm you know, and when, the, and I'm not even talking about like legacy or anything like mm-hmm, that. It's mm-hmm. not, it's not about that. It's like, you know, you just, I just want, we're here for a purpose. We're all here mm-hmm. for a purpose. So keep yourself in, in training so that you, you'll be ready for your purpose when you know what your purpose is. Right. You know? What a good mindset, a totally different mindset, I think, than maybe I have, or a lot of people have like train now. So, you know, you can wear this or look like this, but it's completely a mindset shift. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I think we got some uh, inspiring stuff here. For sure. Uh, Is there anything else that we, uh, well, what, what is something that you'd like your listeners to, what is the main takeaway you want your, the listeners to know or hear? Uh, movement is fun, first of all. Okay, any movement is fun. Mm. So, only do what you like. First of oh, all. I like that. Only do what you like. Yeah. You know, right? Don't don't do something like if you hate CrossFit, don't do CrossFit. Right. I mean, if you right. if you like Zumba, my body doesn't know how to move like Zumba. It just uh, it doesn't move that way. Okay. Right. So, right. You know, don't do it. Do do what you what makes you happy, what brings you joy, you yeah. know? Um, and um, I, any, any movement can be a form of, of praise and worship as well, you know? Mm-hmm. And if you move out of gratitude because you can, because not everybody can, right? you know? Right. You move out of gratitude, you will always have a great workout. You'll always have a great workout, regardless of the burn, regardless of how many Mm -hmm. calories you burn, whatever. Very insightful. I know, just a whole different kind of (laughs) mindset. We knew you were going to have some wisdom for us. (laughs) We're so glad you came on on the show. We're not not quite done yet, but go-getters out there, do what brings you joy. I love that. Um, uh, But before we let you go, we have something to do <laughs> it's called the lightning round <laughs> friend and this oh, is gonna be okay. yes so not hard questions but lightning round in it's called that so that you answer as quickly as you can 
And I'm just, I have 10 simple questions and I just want you to shout out the first answer that comes to your mind, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Favorite time of day to work out? My favorite time is 7 a.m. Oh, 7 a.m. Okay. The workout day you do, or the workout that you do not look forward to, but perhaps you look forward to all of them now that you said. I don't look forward to yoga. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Agreed. Thank you. I know this is lightning round, but can I just pause here? Yoga is hard. Yoga is hard. And it's long. Like a lot of, I feel like yoga class, like the that was always yoga so long. Was, it took me like three tries to get through the whole thing, I think. Okay. 90, I would like do the laundry, like go out, go to Costco, come back. He's still doing yoga. <laughs> it's just, anyway, sorry. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yoga. I know. You said yoga though, and I was just like, yes. Okay. Go to cheat meal. Oh, um, lasagna. Oh, lasagna. lasagna. Yes. Okay. Homemade. Do you make your own? I don't care how I get it. <laughs> just, just get the lasagna get the in lasagna. my face. That's right. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite body part to work out? Um, legs. Legs. Okay. So this is a question that we ask everybody. We're trying to get like a, a tally going. Who is your favorite Chris? There's Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, or Chris Evans. They're all from Avengers. Are you familiar I with... I don't know who I am. <laughs> so it's Thor, okay. Captain America, and Star-Lord. I'm sorry, you're talking to an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Are you familiar with Thor or Captain America or Star-Lord? I don't know who Star-Lord is. I know Thor and I know Captain America. Okay, which one would you but pick? But I haven't watched the movie. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I would watch... I would choose Thor. I Thor. Think. First one. You pick, you're the first one to pick Chris Hemsworth. He's on the board. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <laughs> what would you say your favorite achievement has been through your entire fitness journey, if you can think of one? I, you know, I would say that my, my proudest achievement is transitioning from being a nine-to-five worker to, I love fitness and transitioning to making that my career. Wow. Yeah. That is, that's well, a big deal. That's, that's cool. Very cool, that's friend. Cool. Okay. Your local or your favorite local food comfort meal. Like what is your go-to local food comfort? Um, chicken katsu with... Mm. Um, Lots of gravy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I always get the chicken katsu and, curry. And white rice. Oh, white yes. Rice. Chicken katsu curry. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, yes. I'll take yes. all of it. Okay. Who in the fitness realm inspires you? Oh, I have to think. I think Tony Horton still does. I know, yeah. right? Like, he's, he, I just, have you ever yeah. met him? Did you meet him in your yeah. years? Oh yeah, many, many, many. You did. Many oh times. my gosh. I, I, yeah, I helped to put together his his. He brought his his now wife. Her name oh is, yes. Um, yeah, Shauna. So I helped him uh, set the stage for the proposal. Oh, oh my no gosh. Way. That's awesome. He <laughs> he just seems like such a nice, down to earth guy. Yeah. He's really, he's really a nice guy. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've met them many, many, many times in cool. my beach. Like, oh, you know, so, yeah. so cool. I know my That's sister's great. a big fan, fan of Tony Horton too. Okay. Sorry. I'm the one slowing down lightning around this time. Okay. <laughs> so you have an all paid trip to anywhere in the world and you get to pick. So where do you go? I'm going to say Cyprus. Oh, because I've never been there. And it looks beautiful. I'm not going to pretend like I know where that is. Where's Cyprus? Where's? Um, it's in Greece. Okay, that was my guess, but I didn't want to assume. <laughs> Cyprus Hill. Oh, my sister has always wanted. Okay, Greece. Yes, beautiful. I've been to Greece. Oh, you've been to Greece, there. but not Cyprus. Yeah. Oh, maybe soon. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay last question 
Will you come back with us and let us interview you again and pick your brain for more wisdom and information? <laughs> sure, anytime. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. This is such uh, yes. a pleasure for us to speak to you and interview you and hear all of your knowledge. Thank you for sharing yes. with us. Yes, you definitely motivated, inspired, and equipped our listeners, go-getters out there, to make that change yep. and get fit and healthy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Fran. Yeah. And is there, Thank you. Is there, any, if, is there any place that the listeners can find you or connect with you if they want to uh, join your class or anything like that? Is there a place they can find you? Sure. They can email me. Um, I don't have a website or anything, but they can email me at Fran Petoskey. That's P-A-T-O-S-K-I-E. Fran Petoskey at gmail.com. Perfect. Um, I teach mostly Zoom classes at the moment, mm. of course. Mostly Zoom classes, but I teach um, about seven times a week right now. Nice. Wow. Good. Very awesome. Cool. All right. Well, we'll have that information available for all of our listeners. And yep. thank you, Fran, so much once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> if you's a go getter, why don't you go get it?